Fucking why did I say best of five? Everything, right. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about Xeno Saga. This is actually Xeno Weekly, where it's all best of three. And we have a Wii. What did I come into? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome oh, to the boy, casting Zeno. <laughs> it's, it's Wii Fit Dittos, baby. Yeah, Louis has come back after a bit of a break. Uh, took took some time to away from the game and just like, focus on life stuff. And now mm -hmm. they're back at Xeno. Still rocking this Wii Fit trainer. And it has to deal with John, who's been success as successful as usual, but also been much more prone to getting overrun as of late. It feels like John isn't as dominant or as like refined as they were before. Shout out to SBT for the sub. So we get to see how this operates and how this can undergo. I, I, bo both of us just cocked our head at the same <laughs> angle as we watched numbers run straight through that sun salutation and then complete the edge guard just enough in order to make Louis uh, drop that first stock. I, I do want to point out, I do really appreciate that they they have the uh, the correct, like, color palettes for their, their player. True. John, John usually does the, the green. Yes, that is true. But I guess they're, tr they're trying to match today. They're trying to play that extra little bit of cover color coordination as John is trying to get a mix on these platforms. Gotta, gets a couple grabs, misses the up tilt there, though. I guess he was looking for a spot dodge from Louis after getting a re-grab on the platform. Still, it feels like Louis is just getting a little bit too gung-ho with some of these aerials, going for a lot of down airs right on the ledge. Mm -hmm. is... Taking a moment to stretch his legs right there. All right, immediate, love it. Love to see the immediate punish for waiting on the platform. Your invulnerability reduces no matter uh, if you wait longer on the Halo platform. So uh, taking advantage of that was really for a clean, a clean 23. And any little bit can go a long way, especially given deep breathing if they're able to land it. But they're not getting back to stage. Unfortunately, Number is trying to go for some cheeky uh, soccer ball angles now. All right, now we're just kind of back to neutral, throwing projectiles. Yes, okay, gentlemen. Yep. Oh, not the gentleman's deep breathing, though. Louis Ooh. didn't take it and instead just kind of let John have that big power up. Still, one of the best things that you can have in, in any ditto, but as well as a projectile ditto, is initiative. And I feel like that's what Louis's really taking advantage of here, uh, using that stage control, using the fact that his items are often coming out first and coming out more frequent. And the play on the ledge, catching John getting over aggressive with that back air, punishing accordingly with that F tilt. Super clean stuff from Louis, who's just thriving at this near max rage and deep breathing. 62 in a blink of an eye. Yep, and now potentially setting up for another ledge trapping situation. But a sun salutation coming out from John Numbers, putting things back to even with 60%, uh, 56 now. Yeah, just pivoting back and forth, just seeing how, oh, the second hit of the, bon of the, uh, of the ball converting into the sun salutation. Both of these two just looking for the finisher. Ooh, what a tech by John Numbers. Life-saving tech even, and giving them a chance to just fire back here. Okay, yep. <laughs> All right, John. No, he, he, he had he to take the ball it. hit. He, he could have he had to do that. Oh, the down air comes in, though. Wow, going for it again. Oh, that was such a good coverage from John, seeing the down air intercepting the uh, the header in order to kind of keep in order to keep Louis at bay and then covering just this pure horizontal space with, uh, with the sun salutation after. Great stuff. Yeah, caught him drifting. Yeah, Luigi just really didn't have many options right there. I think he was out of a jump, so it was really just like, you know, neutral air dodge into probably get down air by John. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really like hard checkmate situation because John can just grab ledge there. You see we fit going low. That's a free drop zone back air, free you know, just line it up there. All of that premier kind of stuff that is so good for many characters like oh you don't have resources time to just land this aerial and close it out into game number two but we're in game number two regardless thanks to the trap and thanks to just these two rolling and enjoying this stage time and time again i know this is one of john's favorites uh now that after it had been released but you know fair right yeah it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good stage all right <laughs> I'm just dying at the the sound of the sun salutation. Just like no. a just like a faint glowing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luigi's off stage once again. Just 
able to get through. What a crouch by John Numbers to put Louis in a sticky situation. Now we're gonna see Louis off stage once again. John trying to close out this edge guard situation. Not quite able to get the soccer ball snipe, but exhausting Louis's resources enough uh, to get that stock. Yeah, real shame to fail the deep breathing, so you have to go through the, the fail end lag, which then causes you not to recover. I mean, purely just something that you have to hit as a Wii Fit player. Like, you yeah. always have to hit your deep breathings. Though I like that crouch into the nair, almost covering the air dodge with that up air. Instead, Louis has to put in a little bit more work in order to close out this stock here for us. Just seeing how they can do in center stage. Uh, we're going right back into it. Plenty of pressure on these platforms and plenty of da uh, dashing back and forth. Numbers actually going for a full ass stock there as the person right to my left is going through a metamorphosis into... All right. There he is. All right, yes. It's been me the whole time. I'm ready to commentate the Wii Fit Ditto. This has been a long-standing dream of mine. God, I love the Wii Fit Ditto. And look at this excitement we are seeing, folks. We are seeing projectiles, the drama, the action. Have you ever seen a matchup like this before? On, I wish I could play this up, but all too frequently. We're in New York. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Down the back of 31.5%. Look at that combo. And Numbers is, well, I was about to say Numbers had momentum, but look how quickly it can switch in this matchup. Anything can happen. Yeah, it, it really pivots back and forth, and it was going to something I was saying a little earlier, where it's like Stop. having initiative in this matchup really kind of, in, in many zoner dittos, can really transform how it goes. As we see Louis frequently letting their items go a little bit earlier to force John into a shield or a defensive option and taking center stage like so. Yeah, it, it's funny because you think, oh, it's a zoner matchup, you know, it's, it's a ditto. Their movesets are identical. How could there be momentum like that? But it really is true that depending on who has stage control, depending on who has the positioning, right? Like right. the movesets, the parts of their movesets they're allowed to use is totally different. And we see that numbers at ledge, you know, uh, then Louis Jesus like uh, trying to ledge trap. It's like a totally different character, right? The sets of options they have. Um, yeah. Absolute insanity with two soccer balls on screen at the same time. Sun salutations coming out. You love to see it. That was such a good parry from Louis on the reverse hit of forward air, but the. Uh, Okay, I was getting very, very concerned that he's just unable to close out these stocks in some, so many of these instances, getting so, oh. so close. This back throw with deep breathing, definitely doing it. That was amazing. Honestly, a lot of people don't get that turnaround grab on... Uh, oh, the taunt in the middle of... <laughs> what is going on? We just saw two them. taunts last flex game. <laughs> Another taunt from Numbers. If you say this ditto is boring, you haven't been watching. You don't know what's transpiring on this screen right now, all right? I mean, all we need is the Looney Tunes sound effects, and then, <laughs> then we're really in the in the thick of things. I'm saying, yeah, oh, and the spike! There. there it is, taking him out. That is uh, that is absolutely insane. I mean, the spikes are so well placed from numbers all the time, and we don't get that spike hitbox. That's what happens last game. You get the weak hit into the sun salutation. So what I love about this is we're gonna get a, a nice clip. Yeah, we see the spike, but what's so beautiful about a setup like this is that. This exact spot right here is something we've seen before. We saw it exactly in the last game where a sun salutation heading in this direction was what forced Louis into, well, it hit Louis previously. So yeah. the immediate thought is, hey, I've been here before. Time to not get hit by the same thing that lost me game one and air dodge through That's this ball. That's crazy. And it's so good you point that out because that really is, I feel, one of the biggest strengths of Wii Fit Trainer, right? The right. fact that you have that stage control from anywhere, you know? And if you're able to set up those soccer ball angles and sun salutations, you can create these kind of no-win situations where you got to win that rock, paper, scissors game two, three, even four times in a row just to make it back. Yeah, as uh, it was something that, um, well, the formerly individual here that was Force Armor was talking <laughs> about previously, as it's actually why I do now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just so the... happy I got to commentate the Wii Fit Ditto. <laughs> that, that Ditto was a masterpiece in every sense of the word, all right? I mean, soccer ball, something. sun salutations, and the fundies coming out, too. Yes. But, yeah. I mean, on top of the fundies, you got layers of just sports. Right, just non-stop <laughs> Wii Sports happening, right? So yeah, we just bring different games into our yeah, game, yeah, Mr. Mr. Steve Main. <laughs> I love Steve. God, don't even get me started on no, Steve. Go for it. Go for I start it. talking about Steve, I'm going to lose my mind, all right? <laughs>